Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. And I'm BJ. And today we are taking a look at the brand new Joy's Way Super Fun Series slot cars. We've got it right here. How cool are they? Now you might know Joy's Way is from their high level competition yachts. The Dragon right. Force. The 65. 65 and, and the 95. 95. Yeah. So they're really, really top level plastic manufacturing and engineering. So that's the Super Fun 101. That's the entry level, yep. isn't it? Then yep. we've got the next one up, which is the 205. And it's all the same scale, Beach. It's all 1 and 43rd scale. Yep. This, this one's a bigger track, so it's got a few, um, what, wall rides? Banking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. banking. Banking. Mm. So it's a bit longer track and a bit banking. Yes. And then we've got the Monster. What's that? Check out the Monster. This is the Super Fun 302. And this one's got loops in it. It's got loops in it. It's got wall rides and banking. And it's got a pit lane. Oh, it's it? got like a split track here where they go off. So it's individual loops. Oh, which is yes. really cool so the cars don't crash into each other. Mm. That looks to me like a wall ride. Yes. So you're going to have speed to go around there. How oh, cool. This is going to be really cool. But today we are going to focus on, look at, unbox and assemble the Super Fun 101. Yep. So. Okay, so this is the more basic set. It's got 2.7 meters of overall track, which is still quite a lot. That's really good size for like a dining table mm. or even a small floor space. Yes. Bedroom floor space is plenty. Are you opening it that side? Well, I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't wait. Well, well. I can't wait. You know me. There we go. I'll open this side too. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's have a closer look at what we get included in the kit. Let me turn it around. It feels upside down. I don't know why that is. Oh, look at the cool cars. Love that. All right, so here's the cars. And we've got our instruction manual. And the great thing about these is they're powered with USB. USB. So it's got right here. Yep. Here's a standard USB. So you get your options of plugging that into, say, a, uh, a wall mains adapter, mm. you know, like your charger for mm -hmm. your uh, mobile phone. Or you can even plug that into, what do you call those batteries that you use? Porter. The kids call them porties. Or porter yeah. powers, porter packs. That's it. Portable chargers. Yeah. Where's my So porting? either way, so you, even if you go off somewhere. If you go camping, you can use this. Camping with a slot car track? Why not? Set it up in a van. <laughs> Why? Is that something that you wouldn't consider? Nope. Oh, right, okay. I wouldn't, but maybe. Okay, well that's an option I don't anyway. Camp. There you go. That's why there I don't camp. Look at this. You like the cars? I do actually like the car. That looks like an Aston. Well, it's nondescript, I'm sure, but yeah, it looks very... And I like the finish. The finish is really good. Mm. How about we go to Zoomtown? All right. I'm going to pull it's this out close. of the way. Oof. Oh, got to crispen it up a bit. You're at, we're at different heights, it's not going to work. Here we go. You're going to be right to hold it there? Yeah, All right. I'm going to keep it there. Have a look at that. Beautiful colour. I know who would like that colour. Who would like this colour? Can't say. <laughs> Just say that. I think that they like it. It's a bit of a secret, isn't it? I know. So these are, what did you say, 5 volt powered cars, yeah? Yeah, so they're, they're 43rd scale. Yeah. Nice heavy duty braids on the bottom. Yes. And it doesn't have the moving heel plate, which is good because it keeps it sort of simple and robust. Mm. Mm. And it does come with a lap counter, I notice. Yes. We'll get to that when we build it, but yes. that's going to be nice and sturdy mm. on the, what do you call that, the keel? I don't know what you call that, the slot. Well, that's a guide, isn't it? The guide. Yep. There you go. And then you've got your tyres. So rubber tyres, keep a bit of grip. You can see the crown wheel in there, which is quite a, looks pretty heavy duty, doesn't it? It's very thick. The motor feels nice and lumpy, mm. doesn't it? And it's uh, and it's uh, looks very much like a nylon top material. Very cool. A really nice finish, but not overdone. Like they look really robust, don't mm. they? That's right. All right. What else have we got in the box? Let's check out the um, well, the individual parts, I guess. Yeah. Shall we look at the controllers? We'll bring it back over. Controllers? Yeah. Why not? Right, Which so car would the... you be? Well, I've got the the baby blue one at the moment. Oh, all right. No, do you want the baby blue one? I don't know. I'd change. If there I'm go. sad, so I'd want the dark grey one. Yeah, which will plug it into the control track. It's almost like a three and a half mil jack or something, isn't it? So there's a control oh, yes. track right there with the lap counters on it. Control track, power track. How yep. many how many laps can we do, Beige? Uh, count it. Ten. Ten laps. Ten laps. So yep. every time the car passes past, looks like that it can only go one way. That's it. Look at that! So as the guide goes through, it clicks over the, the counter. We're just undoing this wire, just to show you how much length you have. 
I could do that all day. Could you? Yeah. It'd be more so, fun if we set up the, uh, the track. Mine? So stretched out, I reckon that's about a meter. That's about a meter cord here. What have you done? Oh, you done six laps already? Six laps. No, wow. four laps, because it counts down. Oh, does it now? All right, there you go. Must be clever, isn't it? That is. There's your controller. This grip here. Oh, it's a nice firm controller. Yeah, can you isn't feel it? it? It's, it's got a, um, a ratchet feel. It's like that. You can hear it, yeah? Yeah, it's a resistor. Like here. Yeah. They could, they could talk to each other. Don't be silly. <laughs> it's bringing out All the right, so we've got the controllers. We've got two controllers. Do you, do you know what? I hope it's got that smell. What smell? The burning, the, the, the burning the smell? Dank burning smell. Oh, we'll find out resistor. soon enough when we plug it in. Do you think it's resistive? Oh, which reminds me, I should get an adapter to plug it in. Haven't you got one? Any any phone charger one will do it. Got one here somewhere. Oh, that is a really nice solid connection. Line one and line two. Really cool. Ah, oh, that's where the power jack goes in. So the white cord will go straight in here. Nice heavy duty jack. Oh yeah. Nice and safe for kids, easy. Really cool. And look at this mechanism here. Here we go. I've got this that I prepared I'm, I've earlier. I've got no track mat, yet. so let's see if the first part I put in is actually the wrong part. Now I think the trick to building slot car is going to be like what Marlon showed me with the trains. What's that? Is you got to put them down. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I keep it flat and then press it together. Yeah. Yeah, because you want to make sure that the, the guides that go into the, uh, the contacts, they don't get damaged as you're pushing them in. Oh, that was a solid feel. So it's quite robust, right? The joint. Yeah. It's not loose. And it's like, it's got like keyed. Yeah, it's got teeth in it. It's got like no flex. Mm. Like, you know, some, some other slot cars, like it's a bit rubbery. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like it's mm. all flexing horrible. It's and sometimes really if you don't nice. have supported right, just say you've got elevated sections, yeah. it can flex at this point and then your cars, you know, they lose right. contact. It's like a, um, like a little hump, isn't it? Yes, yes. So here's a little adapter I've got here, the standard phone type adapter. It's just got the USB on it. Samsung, that won't work. Won't it? No. Go give, give me the thinger. <laughs> What's go, it going to do? They'll go super fast. Super what fast. Do <laughs> what are you doing with that cord? The cord is really heavy and it's trying to run away. Is it? It is. All right. You plug it in. There you go. It's easy, USBs easy always as that. have three sides. Did you know that? Three sides. Three sides. Do they now? Yeah, the first right. side, the second side, then the right side. <laughs> have you not noticed that ever? Oh, I have, I give I have a, encountered that before. Can I give it a spin? I, I just want to give it a spin. Do you? Yeah. All right, so we just plug these into the sides. Is lane one and lane two. What are you? I lane one. Lane one, number one, baby. All right. Maybe lane two. I don't know which one's which. So which way are we meant to go? Oh, how quiet Is, is that? Power, powering up. Oh yeah. It's got LEDs. Wow, LEDs in there too. Yeah, I'll catch it. it. Ready? Oh, hang on, Mom. BJ's wrecking the slot cars again. Wow. Cool, I reckon. Can you hold this up towards the camera? What? Oh, you can see this actually. Are you going to shoot So it? this gives you a really good uh, idea of the cars because the cars have got magnet traction as well. So they've got magnets on it to hold it on. So that? It's hanging on. That's like on the side. Isn't it? That's how it can have a wall ride. That's right. Now I'll just hold it as I power it up. Let's see. If I hold it here. She's shine on. it into the camera. Uh, let's do that and just show you the wheels running. You got the Is that the right controller? controller? There I'm we go. Sure. I don't do burnouts. All right, so rear wheel drive there, and then if we do on the front. So nice and smooth. Got the lights. You can see it on the top on the overhead camera too. Mm. That is really classy, isn't it? <laughs> all right. All right. Now that we know That's it enough. works, and we expect it to work, you want to put it all together? Did you doubt me? Yeah, let's have a play. All right, so. Have you got the map? Let's, let's disconnect all this stuff so we've got some room. All right, so we've got our instruction manual here. Ah, uh, pretty basic. Well, it's four sides because not much to it. Now it's got a couple I'm not of plans putting the there. track barriers on. Let's do the really basic one, eh? I'm not putting the track barriers on. No, that's fine. I'm sorry, but. You want to just do the figure eight? Yeah, 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 just the figure eight. <gasps> okay, Look so. At this. 
What yeah. a nice detail. Mm. Ripple strips. They're not ripply, but they're, that is such a nice... And they're really on and they're really finished, so they're not stickers or anything. No. So what we need to do is there's two track plans. We'll do the simple one. So you just need a whole heap of D-type track, which is the straights. D. The A track, which is the power tr and track, even, and then everything else is C. It's even embossed with what it is. That's right, so it's marked right there. That's a D, D. track. And then the full-size one is this one, which has got the... Uh, um, extended parts. And so there's these M and N's, which are short straights. Mm. Mm. Num, 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 num. Are all the curves the same? They're exactly the same. All, all the curves are? They're all the same. In this set? Yes. This is good enough. This is easy enough for a child to do. Yeah. If that's, I can do idea. this, a child can do it. How does it go figure eight? There must be it will, it will tears have... or something. Sorry? There must be tears. What do you mean tears? No, it's going to have a bridge. A bridge, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What tears were you talking about? We're using your... No, not, not like crying. Oh. There we go. Mono, Let's monoliths. keep going. We're going. Let's keep going. More corners? Yep. So there's going to be and one, I'm two, sure three, four, four five, you've... six and I'm curves. I'm sure, sure once you've played with it once or twice, yep. that it'll probably start to go together even easier. So six curves per end. Per end? Yeah. And uh, then two straights through the centre. So it's pretty robust, isn't it? So it well, takes a little bit of effort to get it to click. Then once it's clicked, it's pretty tight. It's tight like a tiger. Yeah. Like it's nothing worse than, I don't know, when you're a kid, like you click one part on and one part unclicks over here. Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. That's the best. No? I yeah. used to love that bit. Did you? Yeah. You used to make me cry. But that's when it was like a different brand, of course. Yes. I won't mention their name, but it was all rubbery and horrible. Yeah. Not like this stuff. See, they've made it hard to get out of the tub. Oh, it's a tight fit. So it's made probably for little fingers. you got little fingers, haven't you? Wow. I wouldn't call them little. One, two, three, four, five, all right. So there's the six, this is the last one for this end. Then we need another six for the other end. Sucks. Yeah. Let's get a couple of straights. A couple of straights. Now, admittedly, we didn't read the instructions first, did we? Who, who does? Well, probably not the kids assembling it, but there's probably well, even... Well, it's so straightforward that probably even you really a, need to. What is, well, I would recommend it. There's probably assembly tips in there, I would say. Oh, there probably would be. No? And we're just like raw dogging it, straight in. We know what we're doing, we're professionals. Aren't we? Speak for yourself. <laughs> so how... All right, well, let's look at this and see how, how these little here, supports mate. work. I haven't seen a how for years. How? How. I think it's okay. Good. I've got here, so I've got two of these and they fit into each other. No, maybe not. No, oh, what am I doing here? They've got the supports. They're read these, the instructions page. I was reading the instructions, I still couldn't work it out. Here we go. So I'll need these bits here. I'm just going hell for leather on this corner. Really? Yeah. Hell for leather. Alright, well, so this has got all the the rails, which we're not going to be putting on at the moment. Let's put those aside over there. Well, we're not going to be crashing, are we? Oh, I hope not. Crash and Here's test. our bridge supports. Dun, 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 dun. It looks a little bit like a horseshoe. Does it? Big horse. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Stop being silly. Stop horsing around. All right, stick it on. Hey, the box is nearly empty. Mm. If I take this car out, it is empty. And we've practically got our figure eight. No, practically. Um, I'd say that we have. Have we? I would say that we most definitely have a figure that looks like an eight. All right, so what have we got here? So. Problems. We've got some supports. You're my support. There's one bridge support. Is it high enough? So these I just think... fit into here, and there's extensions. Extensions if you need more height. Do we need more height? Well, maybe. Yeah, there's a tall one. Yeah, probably do, yeah? It looks a bit low. 
could have said that before I clicked it on. Yeah, here you go. Okay. I've got a feeling that you didn't... This goes together, it's child's play. And then these just... Oh, I'm looking at the pivots. Bottom. That is clever yeah, is engineering. Ball jointed. ball jointed. That is clever engineering. Exactly what I'd come to expect from Joy's Way. There we go. And they just clip on the outside. And then we can do these halfway house ones, which are down here. Why? And just get a little bit more support around here. Bit more moral support. Yep. Who were you giving moral support to the other day? Everybody. Oh, to, to Mr. Salvaggi, wasn't it? To Gucci. Oh. Hey? To Gucci. No? Was it? I'm not sure. Oh, I can't remember. Tony Gray, probably. Oh, it could have been. I can't actually see what I'm doing here. Why not? Oh, there we go. It's on. You don't have so to see what you're doing. It just about puts itself to get a beach. There we go. How about... Oh, there's maximum out. All right. <laughs> Look, we're done. There we go. How long did that take? No time at all. No time at all. Do not lick the track. All right, so I've got the power connected. The power is connected. Here's a controller for you. Oh. Here's a controller for me. I'll go in lane two. I'll go in lane one. Because I just think it's a respectful thing to do. Elders first. What? Elders first. How do I end up with your car? Oh, it's going the wrong way, this way. They're off! There we go. You're a madman. Oh. Say, look what happens to the madman. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And with these systems, you can quite easily get multiple sets and just put them together and make a huge, massive layout. Why wouldn't you? Who's winning? I don't know. You must be. I'm coming up on you. Here I come. Oh, look at I must have it. <laughs> look at desperate page. I'm giving a bit of a squeeze on straights. Look at that, a little light on them. Isn't it good? Smooth, yeah. How fast are they? <laughs> you don't like turn four very much, do you? Is that turn four? Look, I'm off. It's oh, there you go. So you can see how the cars can come off. So you still need some sort of throttle control as you're driving. USB powered, I didn't think it was gonna be that fast. Yeah, pretty good, eh? No, yeah, that good. is flying along. Yeah. And it's safe and really quick to assemble. Mm. Quick to assemble and also quick to, to, to disassemble. Take down. Yeah. And look, this is no bigger than a dining table, coffee table. Yes. A little bit of bedroom floor. Yes. Whatever. Are you going to try the no the rails? Well, they just push in anyway. Push in. They go in little, the corners. Little slots. Slots. Yep. Little slots on the track. They just push in, and then it'll stop your cars from absolutely flying off like, like my car before. There you go. I love it. I like it too. Well, that is a new Joyway slot car set. This was the 101 series, isn't it? Yes. That is fantastic. That is 143rd. I am Brett. I am Brett from Hearns Hobbies. And I'm BJ. And thanks for watching us unbox it.